I'm going to turn right now. Going. Help yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. I have a question. It's okay. Yeah. Chris uh, keep can, your hand can go up. ahead and take a shot. my leg. Keep your uh, uh, okay, so oh. every girl that you've dated or taken serious, do you automatically ask them right away what their body count is? Hmm. No. Never. I've never exactly. asked girl that. Exactly. So what if you start to really, really uh, like her? And then it comes out like, yeah. after. If I was with a like woman, you already fell in love with her. Like, do that matter? If, if I was with a woman mm -hmm. and I found out that she had a high body count after the fact, well, number one, I would know because I judge behaviors. Women that ha that are promiscuous have certain behaviors that are indistinguishable. What are the behaviors? Because uh, what if she does it and you just never knew? Some of the sneakiest oh, girls are the so biggest good. sluts. Am I wrong with that? Yeah. No, it's the sneaky I, ones you have to worry agree. about. The ones no, that shit. act like they're innocent, yep. that's what you have to worry about. Yeah. Dude, I keep doing You're absolutely that. correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. But traits that I look for, um, you, it's fail proof. It, it, it's, it's literally, yeah, it's foolproof. Like, you, the, if a girl is on some 304 shit, what, the things I look for, you'll be able to find out immediately. Okay, like what? You want a whole list? <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. We, five, we, five, I, don't I don't want to get. I don't want. I've talked about it on the podcast, but I don't want to reveal it to the girls because then y'all are gonna get all. Oh my god, oh shit! Mm -hmm. So I don't want y'all feel like shit. But um, but there's a bunch of traits that promiscuous women exude that it's very easy for you to tell, or girls that just are not wifey material. Um, but yes, if, to answer your question, if I found out that a girl had a checkered past, or and I and I and I liked her, it would immediately make me say, um, she's done. And there's a there's a bunch of scientific reasons for what that. What if y'all had a baby? Ooh. What the fuck? If I had, yo, what well, if you were already, already like, were married and you Marina? just never knew, oh. had a family, and then she tells you, you know what? I wasn't honest with you. I actually did this. Okay, so oh, I'll answer her I'll first. Number one, I wouldn't have a baby with a woman that has a past like that. But let's go she ahead and lie. How would you know? Oh, that's fine. I'll she play along. Okay, wait. I I have okay. to add something to that. Oh, what if you're from so, Miami and she's from New Toronto? Okay, so you're asking a whole other question. Let me answer her first then. Uh, please, one more time. Kayla. Oh, wait, No, your, your question. What was it? One more time. <laughs> I forget. What did I say? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> no, you were saying oh, how you I like that. If, if you were okay. already yeah. married, yeah. if you were already married, yeah. you, were already married yeah. you had a family, you loved her, yes. all that, yeah. and then <laughs> she was like, you know what? I did only, I told you I only had four bodies, yeah. but I actually have 20. And I just want to let you know that. Right. It'd be an immediate divorce? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. You say that now until feelings I mean, are involved and you're really in love. I just think that's not... That's Why do you think that? Because I think if it's true love and you really love someone, you accept them for them. Well, here's the thing. I don't... I, I'm if it's not broadcasted to the world, your family doesn't know, no one knows about her past, then I think if you really love her, then you're going to accept it. Well, controversial take. People might not like this. I've said this before. I don't fall in love with, with women. I fall... I, I have love for women. And I think the problem is that when men fall in love with women, it's a problem because what ends up happening is your emotions lead your actions. You don't necessarily think. You do a bunch of stupid shit. If you look at a lot of the stupid things that men do when they're in love with women, whether they attack them, physically assault them, whatever, that comes a lot of times from them loving them or being in love. And when you're in love, you're emotionally erratic. You can't control yourself. So my thing is have love for a woman, but never be in love with the woman. The woman needs to be in love with you, yeah, not tits. the other way around. I kind of agree with it. Your tits kind of touched me. On the mic. Why Speak on the mic. On why, the mic. Why can't both of you guys be in sync? <laughs> you feel because, me? In sync? Because in sync? the reason why <laughs> is because when you're the leader, you can't be in sync with your followers. You <laughs> must be going to your own rhythm, and they follow and must be in sync with your rhythm. The yeah. man leads, the woman follows. This is not a boy band. What are you talking about? You know, so I... There's no such thing as me and me and my woman are not equals. I don't look at women as equals. I look at them as what? it's kind of fucked up. Uh, I look at them as inferiors. And the reason why I look at them like that, and before you guys get angry at me saying Asagini. that, if you look at chivalry, a man treating a woman like a lady, mm -hmm. opening the door for her, paying for the date, giving her flowers, treating her like a princess, etc., that all stems from you not looking at her as an equal. As a matter of fact, it stems from you treating her as an inferior. That's why you let her go first. That's why you hold the door open. That's why you do all these chivalrous things. So I would argue that women are attracted to men that treat them as inferior. I don't put you on the same level as me. If someone breaks into the house, I would never expect you to go ahead and defend us. If uh, uh, To pay for us and take care of us, I don't expect you to do that. I expect you to stay home, and if you want to work on the side, you can do so, but I don't expect you to pay any real bills. So I look at women as inferiors, and for that, I think they find me more attractive. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah I don't want to work. Time All right, so you guys admit you're useless. No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't no, want to be I'd rather, 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 rather be with a guy that I can learn from and that's mm -hmm. doing better than I am. More like, I don't want to be does with that a... give you the opportunity to talk down on a woman then? Yes. Like, that's, like, a, that's the one I married. The one I, I call a loser. I think it depends on I, how low you're stooping. You, how would you know? You're like, not bitches. No, I'm saying like... Are you...
bitches like me? No, I'm not. But okay, I'm saying then why are you like talking? it depends on the level of woman that you're dating. All women want to be called. Um, what do you mean by that? Nah. For uh, example, no. like if she's a bum and doesn't bring anything to the table and all that, then you can talk to her however you want. Now me, I have my own money, I have my own shit together, whatever, a sure. little bit. A so little bit. What does that mean? But I'm saying like you should treat me differently and I'm gonna go after you got money? a different value Just of Just because you're a floating pair of tits, I should treat you differently. Listen, Casper the friendly white <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. You're not being treated different because you're not a virgin. If you're a virgin, um, we'll talk. Okay, so you said to, an to uh, yeah, and I'll answer both. Because that makes that sense. Gives I don't even know if that makes sense. So you said to talk down to a woman. Well, like that's an opportunity for a man to be like, oh, you don't do nothing. Like you're not, you're a bum. Like, they gonna do that anyway. I okay. wouldn't be a. Oh, hell no. I wouldn't be a woman like that. I'm, if I'm right. my own shit, if I bring question, day, I'm doing question something. for you. Um, you have, you said you have a job, right? You have a boss. Yeah. You well. Okay, you dance at a club, right? Do you, but do you have a boss? I also went to school, and I'm also licensed. Do you have, do you have a, okay, do you um when you worked at the cos? Did you work at a hair salon? Or? I did work at a hair salon. For and you a had a boss, bit. right? When you were there, I've had multiple jobs where I've had bosses. Yes. Cool. All right. All right. So if yeah. you fuck up at the job, mm -hmm. or if you come late, etc., someone disciplines you, correct? Yeah. So you have a superior that you answer to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? That doesn't mean they're talking down on me or disrespecting. Well, me. here's the thing. It, I understand that. What I'm saying is that. The man needs to have that type of position where you defer to his authority and he is a leader and he has to discipline you when needed. Because I have no problem with that. Just don't be disrespectful. Okay, but are you giving me yeah. checks then? Is this the actual you relationship you, you or are you live, paying me you live to be for with free. you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Live for free, Bro. but is that fun? Wait, to so live fun? for free. I mean, get I still have to have my own money and shit going on in case this fails. Like, I'm not just going to rely on you for everything. Yeah, but like. Well, but I do want to be with a guy I can rely on. Mm -hmm. No, I understand that. I, yeah. I, under I understand that. But what I'm saying is that I'm not saying disrespect women or whatever, but your woman is when you need to be the disciplinarian when needed. You're the leader. You're, you're basically you encompass all that masculine energy that she's looking for. Because I'll be honest with y'all, women do a lot of stupid shit. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, Masani. we live in a society that incentivizes women to do stupid mm -hmm. shit that might fuck up the relationship. Oh, I want to go out with my single friends to the club. No. Oh, I want to go on a girl's trip to Tulum. No. Like, I have to be the disciplinarian and the boundary, right, to keep you from fucking up the relationship because we live in a crazy clown world now where we let women get away with fucking murder when they're in relationships. If you want to act like you're single, be single. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to sit here like a fucking okay. dancing monkey at the house while you go to the fucking okay. Tulum and have dudes hitting on you in the club. I think it's completely inappropriate for women to behave like they're single when they have a man, especially a man that's supporting and take care of them. I agree, yeah, I agree, I agree with that. that. Yeah. yeah, but here's the thing. I think we get out of it because I think you should trust your woman a little, but I agree <laughs> with like No, I trust women there, to yeah. be women, which is emotional, uh, super reliant upon what their friends say, drinking alcohol, which means even more emotional, and do dumb shit. So my thing is, I look at it as if a woman f it's because I fucked up and didn't lead her right. Hmm. Or she's not happy, but... Or she's bored. She's like, down. It's no reason outside. if you're Definitely. doing... If you're keeping the home intact, it's no reason to step outside. That's true. Yeah. If he's laying it out right, then it's, I'm And it's home. not <laughs> all about money. Like, communication, you, honey. Yeah, he's, he's not going to look, look like that. Like, it's like, that's why what would I go looking know. for like, something outside I have Miami, right here? It's a whole different world. What are you trying to say? Oh, okay, you're saying you want to go out? Yeah, okay, fair. No, I'm saying if I'm out with my friends, but I'm perfectly happy at home... It doesn't matter who's right there. She's got like a GTA accent. <laughs> it doesn't matter who's right there. Like, it's, I'm not going to look at that man just because he's attractive. Like, No, I, I get that. But I think it's inappropriate for women to be at the club um, when they have a man. 